So to determine the polarity of OF2, oxygen difluoride, we'll first need to look at the Lewis structure. That'll give us an idea of where the bonds are, how the atoms are arranged, and where those lone pair electrons are at. So when we draw the Lewis structure for OF2, it'll look like this. When you look at it, it looks like a fairly symmetrical molecule. And if it's symmetrical, we're thinking maybe it's going to be nonpolar. But we need to be really careful here. Let's take a look at the three-dimensional structure. That's the result of these valent shell electrons pushing each other away and causing the molecule, the atoms, and those lone pairs to spread out as far away from each other as they can. When we do that, we end up with something like this. So this is H2O, which is very similar to OF2. You can imagine the reds, the oxygen, and here let's imagine the whites, those are the fluorine atoms. This is the three-dimensional structure, the molecular geometry that we would see for OF2. Notice that we have the hydrogens, they're on the bottom, and those two lone pairs, they're up on the top. So now we have this difference in electronegativity. We have the lone pairs on the top, and then the hydrogens on the bottom. The hydrogens are going to tend to be electropositive, they'll have a positive charge, and then on the top we'll have a more negative charge. Note that it's the difference in electronegativity between the oxygen and the hydrogen atom that makes that bond polar. And then the symmetry, we have an asymmetrical molecule. Not having that symmetry and the difference in electronegativity is what makes this a polar molecule. So if we look at the surface of the molecule, the electrostatic potential, that's going to show us where we have more of a positive charge and a negative charge. So the hydrogens there on the bottom, they experience a little bit more positive. And then on the top where we have these lone pairs, this is a more negative area. That means these electrons here, the ones between the bonds, they're going to spend more time around the oxygen and make it more negative. So on the top, we have a more negative area. On the bottom, we have a more positive area. So just like water, OF2 is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B with the polarity for OF2, and thanks for watching.